Good afternoon and welcome to Score Spotlight. I'm your host, Robert Price. Joining me today are two of the actors from The Palace, Ryan Gomont and Diana Price. Ryan? Hey. Nice to meet you. Diana, Hi. welcome to the show. Thank you. So, you guys are actors. Tell me what first got you into acting. Please. <laughs> I will. Um, thanks for having us. This is awesome. So, uh, I took a class, a mythology class, um, like two years ago uh, with Susan Moore, and we read this book called The Alchemist, and it's all about the hero's journey. I had a friend in that class who was like, you know, you have a really good stage presence, you really should get into acting. Right. It totally fit in with all of like the hero's journey, like you have to figure out what you're supposed to do with your life. And um, I signed up for some acting classes here, and then the rest was history. <laughs> uh, I started performing when I was a little kid, dancing and stuff, ballet, tap, hip hop, you know, cool stuff like that. Uh, and I just, uh, I, did, I did some uh, church plays that I wasn't really interested in then, but uh, and then as I got to junior high, uh, uh, I, I got more interested in it, and it, I found out it was something that I actually liked to do. Uh, it wasn't like, oh, it's easy, but it was just something I've, I, I enjoyed doing and spending my time doing. And so I devoted like all of high school and college and got my bachelor's in theater, and now I do comedy and act. And Tell me about the palace. What is the palace all about? Well, the palace uh, is about uh, my character, Barry Howard. Um, he is the hotel manager of the palace, which is a hotel, obviously. Uh, and um, <laughs> it, it's basically, uh, he, he's, he's worked for like 15 years at this hotel. He's about to get this big promotion from his boss that he respects. And then like literally the day it happens, everything changes. Everything falls apart. New, ma new, everything management, new management, new, new everything. employees. New staff, everything. And my character is Taylor Doerr, and she is the head of human resources. and. Uh, she comes in and is trying to uh, find out exactly what's going on with the hotel because everything is changing. And but she's a new character too, so uh, her and Barry are meeting in the pilot episode. Mm -hmm. Now I understand uh, you guys did uh, your first table read uh, just a couple of weeks ago. How mm -hmm. did that go? It went pretty. It went, went well. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, we were not like cast at that point. Mm -hmm. you know? That was just uh, that was just casting for that uh, right. for that table read. But it was it was fun. It was enjoyable. It was just right. so that the writers and and the. Uh, everyone at the school could see what the palace was about because it had never been read out loud in front of like a group of people like right. the writers the writers room had never heard it out loud so we just came to support it and to to um, read for it right well uh, we have a video from that that we're going to take a look at in just a moment but we're going to go to commercial break so when we come back we will take a look at the table read from the palace we'll be right back after this Welcome back to Saguaro Spotlight. I'm your host, Robert Price. I'm here with Ryan Gomont and Diana Price from The Palace. So we've got some video from a table read that you guys did. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at that real quick. So um, tell me, what are we looking at here? You're looking at some fine acting by me. <laughs> no, uh, that's... Uh, He's not wearing his glasses, though. He's in the red. Yeah. I'm not wearing my glasses because I'm acting. And then next to me is Randy <laughs> Messersmith, who's the theater arts director here at Scottsdale Community College and happens to be the director of The Palace. Mm -hmm. 
And then the the girl in the scarf and then the boy in the blue shirt, um, they just came to the table read for it because the, the table read was just to hear the whole script out loud. What was this for? I think was for a Kickstarter? Kickstarter well? campaign, yeah. They wanted to send it out uh, to show what, what this was going to be about, what the palace was going to be about. Right, okay, to, to raise funds for right. the, the project. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. sure. Um, so tell me, um, what, what drew each of you to your characters originally? Well, um, I'll, go, I'll go first. Uh, <laughs> well, it was the lead, so I was attracted to it, obviously. <laughs> no, no. Um, uh, I just, uh, you know, I like the character. I, uh, I, I like, uh, I, I see a lot of, uh, a little bit of myself in there and, like, Barry's insecurities, and mm -hmm. I, I feel like I can tap into that. And um, I, I kind of like being awkward and pathetic at times. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> he uh, does. It, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty easy for me uh, to be awkward <laughs> and pathetic. So that's what drew me to Barry. Right, and Diana. And then I play uh, Taylor, head of human resources, and she is um, she's a very smart character. She's very witty. She kind of takes the situations that the because it's she's surrounded by a world of men, and so she'll just be like, you know, the guys will harass her, and she'll just be like, wow, seriously, thank you. Right. You know, just she's very witty and kind of sarcastic, and um, that was very attractive to me. Right. So how do you guys prepare for roles like these? Um, I just, I mean, I, it's, oh, they say re keep reading the script, read the script, read the script over and over again and, and, and find, um, like I, I have a certain technique that I use and then I just, you know, what's my motivation? What, and ultimately Taylor uh, is a lot like me and that's the, what the director said. He said, just be Diana, you know, just play yourself. So that was cool. Right. So that, that's a great segue. Do you guys, um, do you see yourselves in these characters at all? Do you feel like they're, you're like this in your personal lives? Yeah. 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 Parts definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, it's easy. It's easy to relate to uh, yeah. a lot of these situations. Do you guys have a really no. good chemistry? Are you? Are you dating? Are you guys dating? No. no. On in the palace. In the palace, we. we I'd like to. Right. Yes. Sure right. I'd like it's to. Our, our so the writers, the writers are, are listening. Well, no, to but this. I think that's the point. I mean, that that's the, the 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 romantic connection that they're starting off in that episode. But right. I mean, I think it mostly starts from me. Right. Mm -hmm. From my perspective. Yeah, because right, so. he starts out and he's very. Um, awkward with her and she do, doesn't know who he is and she's like right. excuse me like who are you right and so that that's a very it's a funny introduction to their um th it's a very light-hearted very sweet uh beginning of what we don't know to be yet sure so if people want to learn more about the palace if they want to find out about the kickstarter where do they go well there's a facebook page on the facebook mm -hmm. okay um I th that's pretty much the main Place where all the Source information of is. information, yeah. yeah. Sure, sure. Facebook.com uh, slash the palace sitcom. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yep. So they can go there, they can like the page. And then, like it. Right. And then they can come see the filming of it on October 17th, 18th. Oh, uh, geez, now you're. It's uh, if they want to find out how they can come to the show, they can look on the Facebook page. I need Perfect. to find out. Now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. I need to page. see when the show is. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Ryan, Diana, it was uh, really great having you guys today, and uh, for that us. does it for this episode of Saguaro Spotlight. Be sure to join us next time. I've been your host, Robert Price, and uh, Thanks, guys. we'll see you later. Yay! Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye.